Hello there. Usually with a better core saw season, at this point in time, I'd be saying we have reached the halfway point of season one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter. However, season six is a little bit different, ladies and gentlemen. This season has 13 episodes, which is better because it means I am not close to the finish line yet. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellie Moses, a 23-year-old law and film student here from Sydney, Australia, shooting his shot, baby. And we are up to episode five of Better Call Saw season six, titled black and blue and yes it is a coincidence that i'm actually wearing a black and blue jersey um a little bit of a blue trim so yeah it's fitting for the episode and let's get into it let's have some fun with this reaction and let's smash it let's go I'm guessing this is german music I have no idea what this brother is making, but it's peaceful. That's going to come into play somehow, but for the moment, no idea to be honest. Yeah, Kim needs to get used to, um, you know, assurances from Mike because, you know, most of the time, if Mike assures you something is going to be fine and um, not to worry about things, I trust Mike. <laughs> now, I feel like Lalo is going to be a massive wild card this season because... Like, I haven't forgotten about him. Like, the show continues to remind us about him. But um, it's just what he's going to do is going to be absolutely insane, I feel like. Like, the wild card of all wild cards. When are they going to decide to insert him back? Like, when is he going to return? Where is he going to find this proof? What is this proof? And with a prequel series as well, with a villain, like, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with him. The nuns back in Cicero would send me to hell for saying it, but... Thank God he's dead. <laughs> Are you going to spill this secret, Kim? Are you going to spill it? What happened to the relationship agreement we had before about Don't disclosing things and having the urge to tell something? Sure. It goes both ways, Kim. It goes both ways. Man, smoking at like three in the morning. Yuck! Come on, man. Boom! Lalo bust through the door. I love how much of a perfectionist Gust is. <laughs> He's so, he's so OCD about everything. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. Gotta be prepared for what's coming. I feel like I love how in this moment in time where, I, in my opinion, I feel like Gus is really anxious, really nervous because um, the thoughts, it, 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 he's in a way sort of 
similar with Kim at the moment and like sort of like their thoughts and how sort of worried they are, anxious and paranoid, you know, with Kim um, having those individuals watching her um, and knowing Lalo's alive and then obviously Gus himself having those inclinations that Lalo is alive um, and taking all measures, but all the measures he's taking are not enough because it's so long has passed or like a couple of weeks has passed. There's no sight, no, um, no sort of like even um, trail of Lalo's whereabouts and... Yeah, even Gus himself is not um, invincible at this point in time. Despite being a prequel show, I love how you can see both he and Kim are sort of like similar thoughts at the moment um, with, you know, they don't know when Lalo is going to strike um, and what's going to happen. It's out of their control. Um, they're taking all the measures they can, but it's still, he's unpredictable. And I guess it's unpredictable as well in this point for the viewers as well because you don't know when the writers are going to decide to um, insert him back in um, or, you know, strike with him. And I love that. Even though it's a prequel series, it builds up the tension really well. Come on, we need him up to Los Poyos Hermanos standard. There's Lyle. Let's go, my guy. <laughs> oh, peace bucket. Extra spicy. May I suggest our signature spice curls? Sure. <laughs> Give me a large on that. Also, two cokes and uh, He's so vulnerable. I feel like he feels he's so vulnerable in this moment. Sorry, Mr. Frank. Is that the new guy Mike hired? called discovery. What is discovery, you might ask? It's one of the most important parts of any case because it's when both parties are able to discover, if you will, information that is relevant to the claims <laughs> at issue. It's just taking so darn long. Unfortunately, high stakes class actions like these often move on a protracted timeline. Well, okay. Some of us don't have a protracted timeline. <laughs> know what I That mean. is true. <laughs> my son thinks I should get my own lawyer. You have every right to pursue independent legal representation. Having uh, said absolutely. that... Absolutely. It's great to see the next generation stepping up, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Brill. I know you all want to get to the finish line. Boy, I, I sure do. But I'm going to level with you. Truth is, we still have a ways to go. Why? Because we want the maximum from Sam Piper. We're pushing to get an extra 30% on top of the penalty. Uh, not because we're greedy. No. Because it's what you deserve. He's a great salesman. <laughs> to get your due. May take a little extra time. Is it worth it? I think it is. Because this isn't just about money. It's about people. It's about you, Sally, right? <laughs> right, Sally. And you, sir. We're sending a message. We're not going to let big corporations pick the pockets of hardworking folks. I, I want to live in a world where people can trust each other. And I bet you do, too. Thank you. Oh, he killed that. He killed that. In the middle of the street. And I zip. I just drive right past it. I, that's what you're saying. I, I don't even... I don't know how to respond to that. I'm not asking you to respond. I just need you to know that I know. It wasn't me, Cliff. Whoever you think yeah, you Yeah, sorry, saw. but that's the kind of thing my son used to say. It was your Jaguar, your namaste plate. It was you. Howard, there's no harm in asking for help. I hope, I hope they catch on to Jimmy and Kim. I just hope 
please, man. I, I can't see two individuals like this get played like this for that long and ruin another relationship and ruin another, like, two people's lives, in fact. Like, you got a lot of people in your corner. So there's the, the baggie at the country club. Yes. After that, some clients who you can't name because of privilege make insinuations. Then on Thursday, you have a business meeting and you witness a Jaguar speeding past. Who are you meeting with? Not sure why that's germane, but Kim Wexler. She came to me for career advice. Thank you. He knows. All right. Cliff, I know this wasn't easy for you. You came to me as a friend. I appreciate it. You can start today, Howard. Oh, I will. <laughs> because you're right. I do have a problem. Just not the problem you think. <laughs> I have a Jimmy McGill problem. Thank Jimmy you. Jimmy McGill? You'll have to excuse me. Howard. Julie. Cancel my week. Yes. My whole week. Howard. He knows. He knows. Yo, let's see what Howard's going to do with his week off. Namaste, baby. We back. We back. <laughs> Justice will be served in four and a half minutes. 9 a.m. sharp. I look forward to sitting down with each and every one of you. What a receptionist desk. Morning rush. So that's your station. Temporarily, of course. But check it out. Center stage. What? I know that this place needs a little TLC. But this is just day one. Two weeks from now, you won't recognize it. Where's Miss Wexler? Uh, you mean my wife. <coughs> That's right. I made an honest woman out of her. She's blazing her own trail, and I couldn't be prouder. So it's just... Me. Just me. For now. But think of it this way. Half the work. <sighs> what happened to the old folks? Elder law. Uh, I expanded the mission uh, to be more inclusive. Here at Sogamon and Associates, we welcome all ages, all creeds, all stripes. And who is this Saul Goodman? Do you? <laughs> you got it. What Colonel Sanders is to chicken, Saul Goodman is to the law. Why me? Because I trust you. And <laughs> what happened last time, I, I, I want to make it up to you. I will explain at the end of the day, please. You're just desperate and need a warm body. Good luck. Where are you going? Back to the MVD. Took half a personal day for this. What if I double your salary? My salary at the MVD or what you were paying me before? What if there's less? <laughs> no, there's more. More is the word <laughs> I'm looking for. Did I mention the signing bonus? I get a say in the decorating. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> Open for business. One at a time. Thank you. I'll be right out. I'm so interested to see how they maneuver. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, oh, over here. The sort of post Breaking Bad and sort of maybe me. during Breaking Bad. Um, sort of scenes in this show. We might get to see scenes during the Breaking Bad series um, that occur with Jimmy and Kim potentially, um, maybe when things are heating up and maybe Jimmy tells Kim, you know, you got to get out of town and we'll meet again someday and she has to be with it. Um, that could be a possibility, like scenes we never see before because obviously in Breaking Bad, we didn't spend all the time with Saul. Like we didn't know what was going on in his personal day, day life. Um, we just saw him... You know, as an entertaining, um, like, character in the show who was a lawyer um, who'd get up to his antiques to get people and, you know, like, to get criminals um, justice. Um, but, like, I'm interested to see whether they tackle scenes during Breaking Bad in this series. Um, because with my thoughts at the moment, I'm thinking, okay, we're seeing the lead up to the eventual, you know... Um, Gene 
um, we see in the black and white sequences, but, you know, we could potentially get pre-gene sequences before the D-Day, as I like to call it, with um, Heisenberg and Walt and Saw and everything. Um, and then obviously the post-gene scenes, what's going to happen there as well. So I'm very intrigued to see the direction they go with because the writers in this show, uh, I, I actually have to commend the writing in the show. It's absolutely phenomenal um the attention to detail the foreshadowing um the symbolism in certain items or um just it's so good of course D uh i wanted to apologize <sighs> she looks like velma <laughs> i'm sure it looks sudden but sorry i left you in the lurch you probably had to clean up mesa verde everything that happened there Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin! Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot. That at home alone. Actually, Mason Verde calmed down. Rich moved me over to Sam Piper. Mm. Right. Weird. It did at first, but I get it now. What you're doing to help the little guy. It's incredible. <laughs> I'm just getting started. I really admire you, Kim. <laughs> Changing direction like that. Sometimes I question all of it, but you make me feel better about the law. <laughs> I hope she doesn't use Viola to like get um, information about the settlement and things like that. Hit and run 15 minutes, shoplifting. I can uh, knock that out. Boxing. Ten. Yeah, 10. Boxing. Eight. This ain't fine dining, okay? Our business model is turning tables. So, Francesca, I'm here. Remind me again why I'm making a house call. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ward, I presume. Yeah, he gonna beat the shit out of him. As in. <laughs> H.O. Ward. That is really cute. Howard. So wait, that means uh, you're the guy who shanked some dude in a rumble near Central Penn. That is, that's very street of you. I thought it sounded like a Saul Goodman kind of case. All right, so what are we doing here? I'm tired, Jimmy. You and me. Us. I'm tired of this. Aren't you? It's exhausting. Let's punch it out. <laughs> he gonna beat the lawyer out of him. <laughs> Hoping you might get it out of your system. Do I think it'll work? I don't know. Call it a Hail Mary. I have the gear. I rented the ring. It's just you and me. And Mackie to ref. <laughs> I am sorry, but have you lost your mind? Hey, right, let's do this. Let's I'm throw it. I'm headed as I've ever been in my life. You didn't even try to hide your tracks. The baggie of drugs at the country club. The clients you sent to discredit me. Another prostitute. Okay, once again, as usual... Please, I, I could go on. All roads lead back to you. It's Psych 101. You want to get caught. So what? Is this... It's like pistols at dawn? I'm trying to give you what you want. What I want? I don't... I think this is what you want. You want to beat the shit out of me? Legally? I think you could hold up your end. You must have gotten into a few good scrapes in the old neighborhood. Alright, if this is nobody, Bob Odenkirk, Howard is getting torched, but... But, it's not. Okay? It's not. Yeah, I, <laughs> I could have been a contender. Indulge me. Let's see what we see. Black and blue? Is this what this is meant to be? <laughs> Howard's in blue? <laughs> Mr. Ward. <laughs> Jimmy, you're gonna run away from a fight like that? <laughs> it's his chance to punch up Howard as well. Come on, let's go. Come on. Need you to keep your mitts up, protect your face. Tap gloves. Come on. <laughs> POV shots, let's go. Here we go. 
I never thought I'd say this, but I, I'm here for it. This is gonna be a slug first. No technique. It's just. <laughs> oh, nice body shot. I'm gonna start commentating. Howard comes in with the low. Oh, Jimmy returns with his own liver shot. Oh, right to the freaking abdominals. I now turn it out to slug ref. Ooh. Jimmy fainting with the jab. And he leaves himself open for the cross from Howard and gets absolutely. <laughs> ah, it's getting a bit dirty here. Getting a bit dirty. Howard unleashing on Jimmy on the ropes. And Jimmy flies back with the right cross. And that's a knockdown. Oh, and Howard returns with an uppercut and a body shot. And he floors him. One, two. Three. You've mistaken my kindness for weakness. I'd like to think that tonight made a difference. I'd like to think that this ends it. Probably not. <laughs> Probably gonna make things worse. That was filmed better than the Creed movies. Nah, I like the Creed movies. I love you, Michael B. Jordan. Everlast. <laughs> Laid out on the canvas. Howard takes the victory. Was there a rematch clause in the contract? Who knows? Anything in particular you want me to look for? No. I need to know everything he does. And everyone he talks to. Howard returning the okay. favor. Damn. Okay then. You know what? See you Friday. This game is going to get a whole lot dirtier now. With both sides. Because Howard's in it. Howard was unaware before. But he's in the game now. He's at the table. It's a war. Oh man, this is going to get ugly. Hey, Howard is justified in doing what he's doing. Come on. <laughs> I feel like he tried to take the high ground, the more high ground, so many times, and he just kept getting battered down. Like <laughs> he tried to be the bigger man, he just had enough. He's reached his breaking point. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be pissed. Jimmy gonna be pissed. <laughs> you know, he had it coming. He deserved it. I got court first thing in the morning. I can't show up looking like Leon Spinks. Why not? I'd say you'd be missing a bet. I'm Saul Goodman. Pow! I fight for you. <laughs> <laughs> that that pow was delivered life. perfectly. <laughs> pow. I got a name. Rand Casimiro, retired judge. See? Wow, you wormed it out of her. Nice work. I don't know him, but I found a picture in the bar journal. That's not ethical, man. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to be in the boot. He got a strike. Not yet. Tell your men that we are going out.
Out for dinner, out to hunt. <laughs> Out to inspect the new meth lab. <laughs> uh, still under construction. All construction was paused. For a tracker or something? I don't know, you see? You seem to be spacing out like. I don't know. I feel like that thing at the beginning of the episode as well had something to do with measurements. Oh, he put the gun there, okay. Maybe setting up a trap for Lalo? Possibly. This is where I'll do it. This is where I'll kill Lalo. Wer schoss das Siegtor der Deutschland Fußball WM von der 1990? Maybe. I said, I think, in the Nacho episode when Jimmy says to Walt and Jesse in the desert. Did Lalo send you um, Nacho? Um, maybe Jimmy never really finds out that Nacho and Lalo are dead, if that makes sense. Or like, um, like he still thinks they're alive and Kim never tells him that Lalo was alive. Like she just, uh, she just probably, maybe Mike goes up to Kim later on and maybe Lalo does die and Mike takes it to Kim and tells her, um, and that's closure for her, and Jimmy never needed to know that he was alive, she let, she took that burden and let Jimmy carry on with his life, um, and she was the one, I guess, burdening the fear, um, so, yeah, maybe that's why, so maybe in Breaking Bad, Jimmy actually thinks they are both alive, um, I predicted before that maybe Lalo stays alive across the border, um, but it could be a situation where both of them do die, um, but they never really, uh, Kim finds out, but Jimmy never finds out, or Saul never finds out. Nine. 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 Ja, Andreas Brehl. Ja, klasse. <laughs> cool. Wer war die erste Astronautin? Sally Ride, oder? Wirklich? <laughs> yeah. Wrong. Valentina Tereshkova. Sally Ride. Also, B. Verdammt. Was darf sein? Ein Martini, bitte. Vodka or gin? <laughs> Give me whatever you like. You're American. I guess you could spot us a mile away. Woo! Yeah, I'm here on business. From California? No, New Mexico. It's uh, another state. Go to the German yeah. proof it's potentially. Like California, just less traffic. You know? Maybe a trip to Carlo Vivari. The baths there are wonderful. To Carlo Vivari. <laughs> Not far from Prague. Is Lalo Prague. trying to riz up this woman? There. I always wanted to go visit there. I'm Ben. Ben. Big Ben. Yo, Big Ben. Margarete. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Margarete. Margarete. <laughs> I knew his work was dangerous, but oh, that's a. I never imagined such a thing. That's 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 yeah. that's that's his wife. I suppose I tried not to. That is terrible. That's his wife. That's his wife. I take that back. What kind of accident was it? Cave in. That's Maybe. the proof. That's the proof. He was able to save his man. The Lalo in Germany? Out, but then the structure collapsed. So your husband was a hero. <laughs> he would never accept that. My Werner was too humble. And what were they building there? 
My husband didn't talk much about uh, this Does she know? Does she know? Did Verna tell her? No. I'm sure they must have told you something. The lawyers came to my house. I asked questions. They wouldn't say much. I didn't care about it. All the boxes of folders, his papers. Why do I need all that stuff? And what about your husband's man? I mean, they must have said something to you. Vanna loved Sina Young's. Oh, Sina Young's is the... That was on the writing at the beginning of the box in the episode. His voice. But on the box at the nothing. beginning of the episode. What do you mean, now you're going to the funeral? You think they'd want to pay respect to the man who saved their lives. They send flowers, keepsakes, and so on. Yo, if Lala finds one, one of them, them one of one of um, Verna's men, they'll all talk. Wow. That is, it's just not right. Hmm. Let's speak of something else. Tell me about New Mexico. It's great. There's a lot going on. You would love it. <laughs> so how do you say it? Here we are, my little cave. It's nice. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> oh, yes. All quiet. Except for Bärchen. No. <laughs> means little bear. I'd like to invite you in. What? Uh, what? Uh, but I have worked yeah. more. <laughs> of course. He doesn't need the invite. He doesn't care. He knows the location now. He knows the location. That's all he needs to know. Work in the morning. I'll sneak into the house. I know there's a dog and that's it. When do you fly home? Tomorrow. Well, in another life. In another life, yes. No, oh, she didn't even send location. She showed location. Mm -hmm. That was light work for Lala. Oh, he dissolves out. Time lapse, time lapse. Yeah. Not time lapse, but like transition. Dissolve into the morning, sneak into the house. Perfect. The framing is really interesting here with how the characters walk into the power lines. Almost as if they're getting severed by them. <laughs> oh, the train line, sorry. Yo, where Lala at? Where are you hiding, buddy? Where'd you camp out? Oh, no, he's just across the road. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> Do not put down the dog. Oh, it's a little sausage dog. Leave the dog alone. <laughs> the man of the house. Is that a little sausage dog? That looks like a sausage dog. He's gonna find something. Something. Has to. The episode's gotta end on like sort of like a cliffhanger finding or something.
Hey, I like how you can see the opera house photo in the bottom hand right uh bottom right hand of the screen the opera house and harbour bridge shout out australia shout out sydney hopefully she just stays downstairs Ich muss los. Komm mal. Komm mal. Bärchen. Ich muss los. Komm mal. Du bleibst hier. Okay? Du bleibst hier. Bärchen. Bleibst hier. Ei! Oh, okay, it's the measurement thing from the beginning of the episode. Okay, I was about to say they were using very, very similar framing right there um, to Mike in Breaking Bad um, in terms of like hallway shots and Mike placed behind um, a wall. Um, there was a very similar sort of sequence in Breaking Bad where he was breaking into the facility with the Asian guy. I forgot, one of the Asian guys. Um, and he killed a bunch of men. And um, the guy, I, I think in... Breaking Bad, Mike was on the left-hand side of the frame and it was like the divider in the middle and the guys came walking in um, and you could see it like in sort of like a one-take scene and then Mike came out and obviously popped them both. And I think there was a very similar scene as well and very similar shot composition in Lydia's house as well when Mike broke into Lydia's house and he was behind the wall and I think it was the maid that was walking down the hallway. Um, but it's so effective and I love it. I'd like to think Margarete survives this. You're gonna go to the manufacturer. Oh, it's gone. The ruler thing is gone, I think. I think he took it. It's not on the platform anymore. Unless... You left the window open. <laughs> yeah, okay. Lalo's working on his proof at the moment. Building up his case. Building up his case. <laughs> Everyone's building up cases at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm loving this show. That was a slower episode, but I actually really liked it anyway. Like, it was... It was 50... Two minutes, I think, the runtime was of the episode, but it was uh, about 51, sorry. Um, but it, it was still fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed. Like, I even, I was saying at the start of the episode, when are they going to inject Lalo back in? When are, when are they going to play that wild card? And they did play that wild card, and obviously... They had you thinking um, at the end of the episode, is Margaret's life in danger? Um, a little bit of tension there because we know how predictable Lalo is. We know, um, you know, he'll take do whatever it takes to um, get what he wants. And uh, I thought at the end, I'm like, you know, Lalo's going to make a slick escape. I don't think she's in danger, but they did create that little bit of tension towards the end of the episode, which I liked. Um, and it wasn't like the major cliffhanger I was, ex I was ex expecting with him, you know, finding the sort of proof he needed. But I think it's another sort of like Easter egg. It's, a little, it's another little breadcrumb he's found on the trail, um, which is a, a neat tie into the beginning of the episode. You know, we thought... We, we, we were thinking, or I was thinking, how is that sort of box and that sort of like ruler-like thing is um, in the sort of... Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like the gel... The gel or like the sort of like glass um acrylic thing it's in um like how is that going to come into play and it came into play at the end of the episode with i think potentially lalo finding the manufacturer of it and he's going to hunt those down um and possibly find one of mike's um or gus's workers that worked on the cave as well so lalo is doing his own tracking down at the moment and obviously now we have howard tracking down jimmy and kim and Jimmy are unaware of that, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an all-out war. So it's going to be so crazy to see how it plays out. But I hope you guys enjoyed these reactions as always. It's been your boy Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.